How's it going everyone? Before today's goalie tip video, I want to tell you guys about a new subreddit dedicated to ESHL goalies. It's called EANHL Goalies. There's a ton of goalie tips. It's a place to chat, hang out, and ask questions. I am a moderator myself, along with John LOL, so the fact that a small guy like me gets the chance to work with the big guy, it's pretty cool. I'll leave a link below for you guys. Check it out and meet other goalies. Today's goalie quick tip is a question that I get asked a lot, most recently by the original UN, but it's never had its own tip video until now, and that is, when should you drop to butterfly? Dropping to butterfly is very situational, and my first tip is actually to stand up as much as possible. It's much easier to be precise with your movements when standing up, and it's much easier to change direction on quick passing plays. When you drop to butterfly, you are committing yourself to the shot, and it's much harder to move around the crease if they keep passing it around. When the puck is in the trapezoid, I will drop to butterfly almost every single time. Skaters like to dance back and forth, they're trying to trick you into hugging a post, and then they'll just do a quick wrap to the other side. Just sit tight and wait until he commits to one side, and even though I did not get to the post in this clip, you can still stop wraparounds from simply being in butterfly as long as your pad can reach. When the puck is just outside the trapezoid and in the corner, most of the time I'm standing up. I'll only drop to butterfly if there's someone crashing the net for a quick centering pass. Now this pass has to be right in front of my goalie because I want to protect the low part of the net since from that close it's going to be tough for that skater to try and lift the shot up high. I also drop to butterfly when I see or hear a shot from the point. Once again this is to protect the five hole from deflections and to already be low on the ice and be ready for rebounds. Your goalie can probably make most of these saves even if you don't press butterfly, but if you get beat five hole and you know there's something that you could have done about it manually, then I feel like that's our fault as the player. I'm not gonna give EA a chance to let anything go five hole, I'm gonna drop down myself. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for more goalie tips. Any goalie questions or feedback, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the EA NHL Goalie subreddit. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.